Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm testing out two brand new products from Becca. These are meant to make your under eye look flawless. The first thing is the Becca Anti-Fatigue Under Eye Primer. Oh my god, this little package here is so beautiful. I thought it was gonna be like a little twisty like the powder was, but it opens up kind of like an eyeshadow. That's what it looks like there. And then this powder right here, this is the Becca Under Eye Brightening Setting Powder. What I'm gonna do is hop online, look at the claims, and then I'm gonna jump into a demo using this. Starting off with the Anti-Fatigue Under Eye Primer. This thing is $32. I got mine at Sephora.com, and it has 3.7 grams of product in here. It says it's a cooling anti-fatigue eye balm and primer in one that preps the skin for smooth makeup application. It smooths and blurs the look of fine lines while reducing puffiness. Infused with cucumber, matcha green tea, and caffeine, the sheer and velvety texture effortlessly melts into the skin to condition the eye area. Perfectly preps the under eye area for corrector and concealer application, so makeup never creases or looks cakey. As for the under eye brightening powder, this guy is $25. It has 2.7 grams of product. And for whatever reason, when I opened mine up, and I'll show a little picture so you guys can see, I still haven't even taken the sticker off, you know, like the one that says, oh, I've never been used. The sticker is still there, but there's powder all in it. It kind of made a mess whenever I opened it. So I don't know what that's all about, but it hasn't been used. I don't know. I don't get it, but that sticker is still there. This guy says it is a targeted brightening and setting powder for lasting makeup wear. It's a weightless, invisible, loose powder, brightens and sets the under eye makeup for lasting wear, infused with light reflecting pearls. It instantly blurs the appearance of fine lines without settling into them. It also says it can be used on other targeted areas such as the T-zone. So what I'm doing today is I'm trying these products on one side and then going in with my normal routine on the other so we have something to compare compare it to. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and try these guys out. I've got you guys zoomed in so we can see close up. I do have eye cream on. I always wear eye cream, so this is not going to be any different. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to warm it up on my finger. Just swirl around in it. And I'm only going to do one eye because I want to see if it actually makes a difference. So really not a lot of product comes off on my finger. I'm going to start tapping underneath the eye. I don't really feel like anything's on here. Get some more. And a little bit more. <laughs> it says that it's supposed to be cooling, but honestly, I don't feel any kind of cooling underneath my eye. I don't know that's be if that's because I already have my eye cream on, but I feel like you would feel it. This might look a little bit smoother than this side, but a, a not a huge difference. What I am going to do is go ahead and start doing my makeup. And then when I get to the concealer, I will do the concealer and you guys will see how it looks. And if one eye is, I might be able to, yeah, I'm starting to be able to feel it now. I'm feeling a little bit of cooling now. Ooh, okay. <laughs> so there is the cooling sensation. It just takes a hot minute. But I'm going to go ahead and do my makeup. I'll be right back. Foundation is on, now I'm gonna go in with my concealer. I gotta say, it got more and more intense, but not like overwhelming. It feels really nice and it still feels very cooling underneath my eye. But I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Shape Tape and we're gonna pop this on and blend it out and see if there's a diff, well, you might be able to see a difference more with the powder, but we'll see if there's a difference with just using that balm. A light sponge to blend this out. feels very nice underneath the eyes. Like, it feels so good. Concealer is done. Do you guys see any kind of difference between the two? I feel like I can see a slight difference, but not, not a huge amount. But I do see a small difference that this one looks slightly smoother. Let's see what happens when we add the powder. On this side, I'm going to add Hourglass Diffused Light. I'm picking a little of the Becca powder on a 785. I think that's what it's called. 
Yep, 785 from Delium, and I'm going to go right up here, and people probably ask why I'm using a brush instead of a sponge right away. It's just because I don't always know how a powder like this is going to react, so I'd rather go with a smaller amount with a brush and see what happens, and then go with the sponge. <laughs> it went up my nose. <laughs> This does not look bad at all. This looks like skin to me. It does not look very powdery underneath the eyes. I'm going to see what happens when I use a sponge though. I'm using a L'Oreal sponge just because I don't want to mix the powders accidentally by using the same sponge. Which eye do you think looks better? Like I'm shocked. This powder is very lightweight. Like it's almost... Like I don't feel like any texture at all. It doesn't feel dry. A lot of times when I add a powder underneath the eye, especially with a sponge, it feels dry. I don't feel that at all. I still feel a little bit of that cooling sensation. It feels very nice. You guys let me know what you think. Which eye do you like better? I just finished off my makeup and I have to come on here and just zoom you guys in again. This is like flawless. I am so impressed. Nothing has ever beat my combo of whatever concealer I'm loving and then the hourglass uh, powder. This looks amazing and it looks a little bit better, a little bit smoother, a little less dry. I am shocked. I am happy about this. I cannot wait to keep using it. So if you weren't sure already, I am definitely loving the way this looks. This is the first time in a long time that I have been excited about a powder under my eyes. And I actually think that this makes a little bit of a difference. I am going to continue using these. I, I think you can hear the excitement in my voice. I am like legit, woohoo, like this eye looks so good. So I'm gonna keep using these and let you guys know if I continue to feel like they're really working for me. But as, I, as of right now, I'm gonna put away my diffused light. We're going to set it aside. We're going to use this and the other powder and hopefully I continue to get this result because I am obsessed right now. I highly suggest you guys check this out, especially if you suffer from fine lines, dryness underneath your eyes. I just, I'm excited. <laughs> but uh, also, if you want to see this makeup look, I am, like I've done it, I'm recording it, I'm going to edit it and pop it up. I am using some new products from Hourglass. Let me see if I can find them. These little eyeshadow palettes, these are brand new. Um, yeah. So I am using these. So if you're curious about this makeup, I have done a tutorial and it will be up soon. I don't know how soon, but it will be up. And let me know down below if you plan on grabbing these Becca items or if you've already tried them. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you guys in my next video.